Hello everyone, welcome back to the 7th video of the SciPy Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video, we'll be learning about file input and output in SciPy. So, the purpose of this sub package is to allow us to save data to .mat files. So, .mat files are MATLAB files. You don't need to understand what MATLAB is. Uh, just you need to know that we'll save data to this file over here. Okay, so this is example.mat. I'll delete it for now. Uh, and by the way, this is a folder file IO, and this is the file file IO.py. Okay, so let's start working on the sub package. So, the first thing we need to do is to in, in, import the sub package scipy.io and we'll call it SIO. All right, next, we also have to import numpy, and we will be saving numpy arrays to the .mat file. We'll also be importing the pretty print uh, library, which will allow us to print Python dictionaries. So we'll be using Python dictionaries over here and it'll just format it nicely in the terminal. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to generate numpy arrays so that we can later save it to the example.mat file. So I'll just create array one and array. So I'll make a two-dimensional numpy array. Okay, great. Next, we will create another array. This time, I'll use the ones function to generate a five by five numpy array, which is just made up of ones as its elements. So once you have created the numpy arrays, you need to put it into a single Python dictionary. So to do that, I'll just make a variable called dic data dictionary. And then you have to name your keys. So I'll call it array one. Your keys have to be strings, by the way. Next, we will just put the variable in. And then array two. All right. So this is the data that we will be saving to the dot mat file. Next, we need to actually save it. So the function for that is save mat. SIO dot save mat. So this is the function. So the first argument is the name of your file. So I'll just call it example dot mat. And then the second argument will be the Python dictionary. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll run the code. Okay, so we don't get any errors in the terminal and you can see that uh, example.mat file has shown up in the file explorer all right it's right beside the file io.py which is where we are writing our code all right so now once you have saved the data i'll just comment that out so what we want to do next is to actually load it in and to do that we'll use the load mat function so the load mat function is sio.load mat and then it just needs the file name. All right. And this will actually return us an Python dictionary. So I'll just put it there and uh, I'll also print it out. I'll use the pretty print function so that it'll format it nicely. Okay, so I'll just show it here. Okay, great. So we got a Python dictionary. So the first value is globals and then it's just an empty list. Then we have header and it shows some data about the version as well as when it was created. Uh, and here's the version. And this is the important part. So we have array one, which is equal to the array which we just created, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And array two is just a five by five numpy array, which is full of ones. All right, so this is the important part. So if you want to access array one, what you can do is that you can just, you know, index it. So array one. And you can see that we get this array. And just to check, let's just see what type, data type it is. So array one. Okay, I need to put this into a string. Okay, so the data type is numpy.nd array. 
right? So this is just say NumPy array. And let's just see array number two. And you can see that we get a five by five array full of ones. And then this is a NumPy ND array, right? So sometimes, so this is how you load data from a .mat file. Uh, so sometimes you might end up storing a lot of data into your .mat file. And if you just want to have a brief overview of your data in the file, uh, if you don't want to load everything into your RAM, then what you can do, you can use the whose mat function. So let's just see it. Okay, so we get a Python list this time. And there are a few tuples inside. So what it does is that it just gives us the so here we have if the first tuple and it gives us the name of the key which is the array one over here. So that's the name. Next is the shape of the array. And finally is the D type of the NumPy array. So we created it using integers. So that's why it's in 32. And then for array number two, we get the shape is five by five and the data type is double, right? So by default, this function creates a double data type array so the data type is double okay so if you just if you have a massive mat dot mat file then you can simply use the whose mat function to check to get a brief overview of your file it'll, it'll just give a list with all your variables inside and some extra data like the shape as well as the data type all right, so that's pretty much it for this sub package. This sub package also supports other file types and you can check it out in the documentation. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this video, then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.